orange black brand. It's got a Scott glass nose cone. Uh, it's actually the sustainer of a two stage. The other previous flights are a K11 to a J415. And the booster is actually a three inch with a four inch sustainer. Val from Tripoli, uh, San Diego out of Oceanside. What are you flying on today? A K550. Awesome, good luck. Thank you. Two, one, ignition. Uh, my name is Shane Harris, or Postart, as you might know me. This is my Minty Fresh. It's a Wildman Prometheus, four inches in diameter, about seven-ish feet tall. It's flying on a Aerotech M1315 to 12 or 13,000 feet. It is, uh, we're going to start with 5C, so 5 Charlie. We're <laughs> flying on Aerotech M as another 1315. It's Stratolager RSC2 Plus Featherweight GPS, main set for 1,000 feet. Pad 1C, we're going to fly in 5, 4, 3, Two, one, ignition. There it goes. Probably lost the J impulse now. That should get some pretty good lift off pictures. Gardnerville a charm. I don't know. Oh, fifth time's a charm. Mike is from Gardnerville, Nevada. The color is kind of. It's flown before. 64 inches in tall, 4 inches in diameter, 7 pounds. The PML kit flying on a J400 Smokey with motor ejection for 11 seconds. Pad 2B will launch in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. Let's look a different direction on takeoff. That's okay. City, Missouri. Name of this rocket is Little John. It is green, 48 inches tall, 4 inches in diameter, weighs 10 pounds. Says it's a CW kit. I don't know what CW is. Composite warehouse. Oh, Composites Warehouse. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to, sorry, there's confusion at the LCO Def, just trying to clear it all up. With the Little John, so that 48 inches tall, 4, four inch diameter, so it's kind of a smaller rocket. It's flying on a K1100 Blue Thunder Aerotech. Perfect flight stratologer's main set for 700 feet. This thing is going to take off pretty quick, so increase your shutter speed or decrease it. I forgot the technical term. K1100, pad 3B, we're going to launch in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. That's what I expected for a boost with that motor and that combination. Three pounds rocket, so it's an Apogee kit, it's flying on a G80. Pad 5B, we're going to launch in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. That one's arcing over. Back sliding. We don't have a parachute yet on it, and there it is now. Okay, they're happy down there. So pad 8A is the white rocket. 
on the right, oh, sorry, left side of the ring, Burgess Rocket on the right. Hope you got that. We're going to launch in five, four, three, two, one, ignition. Good boost on that one. Yeah, they found it. Oh, they got it? I need to get it from the front table. All right. Yeah, I did Coming it. over the top, working over. Wow. Yeah. 22 <laughs> inches long, 4 inches in diameter, 3 pounds, 6 ounces. It's an Apogee kit, flying on an H195T, 14 second delay. I hope 14 seconds is not too long, but we're going to find out with Brad York in San Diego on pad 7-8, which will go in 5, 4, 3, Two, one, ignition. Okay, that part looks good. Hopefully it's, uh, the delay's been adjusted. Hopefully. Okay, it looked like it was adjusted down. He just broke down the 414. California, this is the Warlock, painted black. It's a lock kit. 51.5 inches tall, 7.5 inch diameter with a little stubby rocket. Weighs 7 pounds, 8 ounces. J350, 8 second delay, has a motor ejection, egg timer, egg timer ion. I know Chris with egg timers in the house as well. Pad 6A, Chris Pierce, your flight in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. Good boost on that. Took a weird turn there at the end, it looked like. Okay, this is motor ejection. Now it has to catch a uh, updraft. Right. And plus, oh, Aerotech kit. Does have a first fire, first fire igniter on it. Motor ejection. Pad 5A. It's going to go in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. Good boost. It is an uh, Aerotech rocket G-Force, flies on a G-motor, how about that? We would like a parachute now. Literally to the left, right of that stick. Better late than never, a little suspenseful there. Goblin rocket, 45 inches tall, 4 inches in diameter, 6 pounds, 10 ounces, it's painted yellow. Wild Man Kit, flying on a K550, White Lightning, Featherweight, Blue Raven, Egg Timer, Wi-Fi. You got all that? 700 main? We're going to watch this one in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Ignition. Why is every launch done that way? Ignition. Yeah. Oh, we saw the igniter. Oh, wait, is that it? Oh, next. Oh, that has to be yeah, that's Ooh. it. That's Where am I looking? Dude, land on the road. Two, one. That's how he's doing. Wow. He failed. Chopsticks, you? Oh my God. <laughs> Yay! Four, three, two, one. There it goes. Oh, really good whistle. Nice flight, Amy. Hi, Kool Aid Man. <laughs> two nice flights, thanks to you both. You said ballistic, Mark? Yes. Amy, where's your rocket? There's one piece oh, it came apart? Okay. We had a separation on Amy. Oh, yeah, I see the booster tumbling in. Can I make sure? That's going to be out in the orchard, I believe. Over to the west. So west end. Pad four, going in five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, Kato. Oh, that's cool. This is Super Thunder. It's going to go real quick. Uh, dual deploy the shoot release. Pad 5. Going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's quick 
Super Thunder Bird. Up and over. And all right, it's out on its way back down. Going to six. We have Brad George from San Diego flying a Zephyr on a Cesaroni H123. Pat Five, four, three, two, one. Smoking. Sundog, check that That's out. That's okay, it just needed uh, need time for the, the spark to travel. Nice Metal Storm Sparky. Wade from Novato, Flying Toothless. It's a black Wildman rocket. It's got a K850 in it. So this is the double-sized version of that motor that we just saw fly. This should be really cool. Got two easy minis on board and a featherweight GPS. He's going to need it. Pad 3A, going in five, four, three, two, one. Smoke. Nice and straight. Right over the center of the ring. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. This little green flame. Arcing over the center of the range. Event and a shoot. Nice flight, Ricky. You waiter, Pat. Going in five, four, three. Two, one. Smoke. And it's up. <laughs> Daddy gonna fly on an H-170. Has an easy mini for alt altitude only, so it's motor ejection with a ride along. We're armed on pad A3, Chris Phillips's carbon daddy. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Smoke. Back to fat pad 5A. That's mine, yeah. <laughs> James Boucher's Super DX3 on an I-170. We're armed on pad 5A. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Nice boost. Waiting for it. There's some smoke. 229 Blue Thunder motor. We're going to arm pad 6A. JJ Stubby. Okay, pad 6A going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, that's going off to the east and a little bit to the north. Let's watch it shoots out. Okay. Velocity. It's too fast. It's just it's it'll open up. Stride along a compact and an RDF uh, tracker on it, so you'll be looking for it. Pad 7A, Chase Lang's Explorer, going in five, four, three, two, one. Nice and straight. It's going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Spoke. There's an event, and there's that shoot. Hi, I'm Macho Matt, and this is what I'm calling the Best Western Special. Uh, it's a um, supposed to be a wild man rocket, but it's kind of, kind of, sort of is. Anyway, um, built it last night in the Best Western, uh, room 230, and um, it's going up on a J250 DMS motor. Um, expecting about 2,000 feet um, and a good time. Macho Matt, are you ready? Yeah! Woo! Make sure you keep an eye out. Myers has a Best Western Special. 
It's the length of two king size pillows and it's going to fly on a J250. That's pad 3B. We're armed on pad 3B. I have a clear range and a clear sky. Going to go in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, moment of indecision. It's going to the east and maybe a little back over the flight line. Let's watch that. Okay, we have a, an event. Okay, looking good. Man, son of a god, I can't even see it. Well, B1. Tim Brannon's Mach 2 on an H100 going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That got it. Our range is armed and ready to go in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This should be fun. Yeah. yeah. All right. Here we go. Bright brand going in five, four, three, two, one, button. Ah. Oh, outstanding. <laughs> outstanding. It's like a little star. Next step. Supply star. And, and you know what? I'm waiting for. This Wocket is I-299. It's an easy mini. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Uh, oh, wow. And we got an event. And nice flight. That is great. We need more lights on that. If that was just a little bright. Braden Carlson, he's got a night Wocket. He's got a night walking in his pocket. It's a green and it's a polk. This has got a long burn. Wow. <laughs> J145 skid long burn. I love it. When I mean, you just got to like throw down the gauntlet. All right, here we go. We're going to set a new standard here and night walk it with the J145 skid going in five, four, three, two, one button. Yes! Yes! Button. Oh, yes! Nice. I want more night walking. I want more dark map. Nice. Nice little star action. Oh, the red's still good. Dude, I think it's all right. Dude, I legitimately thought I drilled the delay so short that it was going to fire on the way up. The fact that it waited till it was on the ground is crazy. Hopefully it's not bad. Looks like it did. Yeah, it looks alright. Oh, it's pretty soft out here too. Yeah. Yeah, she's oh, good. Easy. You're in you're in good you're in good shape. No problem. Yeah, the electronics might be the right call here. Yeah. Well the parachute didn't open when it fell two feet. <laughs> well, it was on the ground when it hit. Sorry. It did a bunny hop. Yeah, it like popped off the ground.